Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Saga of Darkness for Kingdom Hearts 1. Now, it has been a while since I last played Kingdom Hearts. Um, I mentioned this in the last set when I fought the Mysterious Man at Hollow Bastion, but I took um, about a four or five month break, possibly six, uh, to do um, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Persona 5 uh, Royal. Persona 5 Royal is still going on at the point of this upload, and I finished Final Fantasy VII Remake, so that's why on Mondays now, Kingdom Hearts is coming out. Huzzah! Um, this will keep going until I finish Persona 5 Royal, at which point this will go back to being a Wednesday Let's Play. Uh, Final Fantasy is still Friday, Thursday is still going to be Nostalgia, and Tuesday and Monday are games. I haven't decided which ones yet, really. Not sure. I have decided on a few of them, but not entirely so. It all comes down to timing and release dates. If I've done my math correctly, uh, Monday and Tuesday should have two Let's Plays that should work out. Interestingly. All depends how quickly I can get through Persona 5. But... That's neither here nor there. Um, as I've said, I am a bit rusty though, so this may take a little bit of time. Either way, it's still gonna take a lot of time because this is this is a JRPG. It's not a, J a Japanese roleplay game unless there are like eight hundred phases for the final boss. So uh, let's get ready. Um, as a quick heads up, uh, like I did with Birth by Sleep. At the end of this, I will do the Ansem reports as a side video, so we have the full story. Um, I will not record the hidden videos. And... That's about it, honestly. Uh, due to the fact also that the ending cutscene, which does have some story relevance, is uh, has copyright music. It will be muted with a different song played over it, probably Moonlight Sonata, like I usually do. Um... I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, after this set, though, we will be going into another Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, I'm going to pull up my checklist. I think it's this one. Yep. All right. Um, after this, I have a good uh, the next game ready to go. All right. Yeah, this should do. All right. So let's go. I might actually record that one after this. Or some of it, at least. Hope ready for long cutscenes. A lot of cutscenes and a lot of uh, fighting. Is this... Is this my island? Yee! Yeah. Remember, we are in the worlds that ne that uh the end of the worlds. This is where all worlds that have been consumed by darkness come to. Um, as we were actually coming through here, we actually could see uh, some worlds already taken up. We could have seen um, the forest from Snow White's world. We could have seen the enchanted castle from uh, Maleficent's world. The enchanted dominion, uh, caves and stuff that were a part of. Um, Snow White's world. It's a lot of interesting things. I want to check something. There was an interesting glitch over here that you could proc. It does nothing, but it's just an interesting thing. Oh, they got rid of it. Uh, there was a glitch right about here where if you jump just right... You can land on an invisible ledge and just continually jump up, and it would give you a uh, view of the entire map, which is kind of cool. But for the most part, there's no real reason to explore here, because there's nothing to show. Although Sora, he jumps pretty high now. Can I get up there? I'm kind of curious. Nope. Can I get up there? Nope. Alright, let's go. Huh. 
Huh. Is there supposed to be a bridge here? Um. Uh, oh, right, right, right. It's like, wait, what? I remember now. I have to go to the secret place. This world has been connected. What was that? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. There's that punk Riku. So off screen, um, I didn't do anything because there's no point in level grinding because everyone's max leveled. But we'll go through what I have equipped for those who want to play along and wants to upgrade or equip the stuff that I have. So yeah, I use most of my elixirs for, um, against the uh, mysterious man. So that's why uh, Sora has most of them. Let's go. Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart-seeking freedom, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. So you have come this far, and still you understand nothing. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness! Alright, so since we're doing this in storyline mode, uh, storyline, um, chronological order, I'm gonna pause here a little bit. Um, as I've said at the beginning of this, uh, ex this <laughs> excursion, um, I'm doing my best not to spoil future chronological story, uh, story beats. <coughs> I ask that everyone does the same as well. So, at this point in time, for those who are following chronologically, who don't know what's going on, we do know that this Ansem is somehow tied to Master Xehanort. We know this because of his little speech, talking about the, heart, the heart's true nature and the darkness within. That was all very, um, Xehanort. Master Xehanort. We also know this also as well because he has the Guardian, which we saw... Uh, Terranort, as, as the fans call him, uh, Terra possessed by Xehanort, uh, summoned during his battle with Aqua. So we know that they're tied somehow. Alright, got some dink. So yeah, we know there's a connection, but we don't know how to chest yet. What difficulty about playing on again? I'm proud mode. If so, that's that. Come on. Come on. 
As a side note, keep in mind, this, this, this is the first of the Kingdom Hearts games. So, the whole connection going on between all the other games wasn't a thing back then. He got goofy good. Open your heart. The Guardian's possessing goofy right now. Open your heart. Now, it can hit us, at which point we get a uh, prompt. We have to freeze, or else we get uh, grabbed by the Guardian. At which point he does that, uh, come to say, the, the bubble. That sounded really disgusting. Now that I think it's not saying it out my own. Off of your head. Alrighty. Before we go in there, someone gotta check. Uh, config. No. Customize. There we go. Read attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I want them. Um, do I. Can I use these things? Good. And empty. Beautiful. Alright, before I forget again, I meant to actually meant to do this during the battle with uh, Mysterious Stranger. I was gonna have Arrow Guy as my square, but I kind of forgot. Don't forget, if we die at any point during these battles, we have to do the entire thing all over again. I miss shot locks, by the way. Let's go! That was a good amount of damage. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Get out of the way. I almost finished it in one run. That would have been amazing. <laughs> FYI, the arrow guys literally just to protect myself from these bubbles. As well as to do extra damage while I'm uh, right next to him. Yep. Alright, all set to go. <coughs> I'm glad I'm quick. Alright, let's do this. Hey, you done, buddy. Come, Guardian. Really miss shot box, man. Oh, fuck. Come. Open your heart. Come. Open your heart. Yep. Come. Open your heart. Come on. Get out of the thing. No oh, fuck. There we go. There we go. Take this. Nope, sorry, buddy. Fuck. Uh, as a fun reminder, this Let's Play series is not my channel is not recommended for kids. I swear a lot. The final There we go. What? Open your Yep. This gonna suck. Come. Open your heart. 
Yeah, there he is. Come on, open your heart. Come on, open your heart. Fuck you. There we go. Submit! Nope. That was lucky. If he hits me with that submit attack, that's when I get uh, possessed by the Guardian. Damn it! Again. He's got the bubble up. Just hold square and glide. Without having to worry about falling down. Had much better turn radius in uh, Birth by Sleep. Let's go! Haha! <laughs> Shield, motherfucker! There we go. Oh, last second. All right, now we got this. We got this. Maybe. What? Behold the endless abyss. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom heart. Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even yours. <gasps> Darkness conquers all worlds! up already? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. I got one point out something that's kind of funny. Um, Ansem here mentions that, uh, if I look around, there's not even a glimmer of light, and I'm like, um... What's making that door glow? Alright, let's go, big boy. I also like to believe, there's no proof this whatsoever, that, uh, this thing behind Ansem was the original concept design for the Bahamut Summon that was meant to be in this game before, uh, removed. It's these beams of light that make things difficult in this fight. Everything else is kind of easy. I do have another theory about that uh, big thing behind him, though. But I can't really talk about that just because it's not important. I was gonna keep that HP up as high as I can. There we go. Alright, I beat the game. Not really, but I beat the game. All right, now I gotta go in the hole. Look at this automatically. All right, let's go. 
HP! HP everywhere! Alright. And destroy the core. Fly away! Rick Mac, run away. Guys, don't look at explosions. Alright. This fight is actually really easy, honestly. I remember being a lot harder as a kid. Of course, back then, I never, I never did go for max level runs. Wind. Oh. Throw these things, so I can get that portal. There we are! Yep. And into the portal darkness. What? I went through the portal darkness! There we go. Jeez. Goofy! Go! Yes. Go! I hate dark balls, by the way. They're annoying. This should help. Yep. Here. This should help. There we go. All right, break it. And of course, run from the explosion. Slow mo run. I always do that, I don't know why. <clears throat> Hi. Wind. Come on. Goofy, get it. I makes me uncomfortable. What that face itself does is that that eye. I don't know why. Get a goof. Jeez. Just like you just mega this so. There we go. Alright, time to fly down the trick yet. Oh, invisible. Invincible. Lovely. Get that shield going. I'm glad they're kind of weaker variants than the ones we usually fight. Ow. Like literally two or three hits kill the things. Unless I'm really just that strong at level 100. I don't know, it's been so long since I've played this game. Said. Now that we have all three characters, though, we can do something kind of fun. Well, not kind of fun, but makes things a lot easier on us, I should say. We no longer have to go into those portals. Just come down over here or land anywhere, really. Let me so think. I have never seen another person play this game get to this point, land, and summon. And they, they, then they get pissy when they die. They have to do the entire thing all over again. Uh, oh, hi. Defense. 
We don't really need to destroy these things. I'm just making my, making my life a lot easier. Because these things can, like, you know, arc out and get you. Unless they're respawn. Go! Destroy this creepy skull core. Primarily Jack Stunton. Yep. Another immune because I uh, broke the thing. Time to wake up and fight again, mate. Jake's no longer stopping that land again. Give me strength. Technically, each phase of this fight is its own unique, separate thing. So each time we get a cutscene, we can summon again. We refresh our pool. Well, it's a little thing to keep, not, uh, keep in mind. Oh, no. I'll take a real power, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, those need a real power. Okay, sure. Oh, I can destroy these. I don't think I probably should, so... I think we're done. Yeah, I think it's it. So, I'm going to turn off my audio recording. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time when we will continue from here in the next Kingdom Hearts game. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Sora, together we can do it. Okay.
My Majesty! Now, Sora, let's close this door for good. Close the crack! But... Don't worry. There will always be a door to the light. Sora, you can trust King Mickey. Now, they're coming. Donald, Goofy, thank you. Take care of her.
We've got to find Riku and King Nicky. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Pluto, where have you been? Huh? Hey! Gosh, that's the king's seal. Hey, have you seen King Mickey? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's go. 